What's up guys, this is another video, if you haven't read the title, this, I'm doing a couple of videos now, uh, I mean, why not, I have the time, um, and I, it's just better, I mean, we stay on the ball with videos, um, Mark told me this, this, um, uh, trailer came out today, so I thought I would do a, a review, one of my thoughts on it, I guess, is the better, um, thing to say about it, and it's the, um, Rise of the Beasts, um, uh, Transformers, whatever, uh, trailer, um, if you don't know, this is a prequel to the, um, apparently, I don't know if that's for sure, but from what I've heard, it's a prequel to the Michael Bay movies. Uh, this, and it, it's like a follow-up or a prequel to that Bumblebee movie. I don't remember which it is, but it's like some weird re reboot, sequel, prequel thing. Um, it's hard to keep up with what they're trying to do with this universe. Um, I think they should just keep going in a straight line. Um, but this is Rise of the Beast, it's like a prequel, um, they're doing Beast Wars, essentially, if you don't know Beast Wars, that came out when I was a child, um, uh, 1996 to 1999, I think, is when the years it was, and that, when it came out, that saved, in my opinion, that saved Transformers for a lot of the 90s kids, um, I watched the old, the old cartoon, obviously, I had a lot of toys, um, I had Riot, I had, um, I had Optimus, I had Starscream, and I had a couple others. Not very many, um, but I had a few Transformer toys. Um, those were kind of like, oh, those are expensive toys by the time I was I was around. But I did get a lot of Beast Wars toys, because when that came out, that was really cool. And I also had gotten, um, I had a few others. I had, um, I forgot his name, um, the, 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 I should know, but, but um, I had the, the T-Rex from uh, the, the Dinozords, or the, the Dino Transformers, whatever, I forgot his name. Um, Grimlock, there you go. I couldn't remember at the top of my head, Grimlock. I had Grimlock, and I had a couple others as well. But, uh, I had Jazz as well. Um, but, um, but yeah, um, from Beast Wars, Beast Wars kind of saved it in the 90s. Really underrated uh, show, if you've never seen it. You should check it out if you like Transformers. The animated version of Beast Wars, with the animation being a little weird in some places. Um, it was really good. It's a really good story. And IDW actually does a comic book on Beast Wars, and I, I think now... Or they did at one point. I uh, have some of them somewhere. Um, but um, the trailer. Let's get into the trailer. Um, I love Transformers. Um, the movies, live action ones, not so much. I know we had a one with, uh, you know, Shia LaBeouf in them. We had um, a new series with um, uh, with the new cast as well. And then we had the Bumblebee movie. And um, it's just a weird franchise, really. And it could be a good thing. I really love the first Transformers movie. I think that one works decently well. The cast is, was was pretty good at the time. Shia LaBeouf. Um, we had Megan Fox, which hit or miss. She's not a, the best actress, but I do think she was really hot and really good in that uh, first movie for what her role was. And as well as I love her in Jennifer's Body because that movie is just her best film that she's done in my opinion. Um, she did she did uh, Ninja Turtles as well, which I don't know why she was cast as April Neil in that. I think she they should have cast her as like a bad guy um, uh, in that, but whatever. Um, you know, she just didn't fit the role of April Neil to me, but they've had him now since since the eighties kind of changed that character a whole bunch, uh, in different uh, versions. So who cares? But uh, Transformers, we're here to talk about Transformers. Um, so the franchise has been all over the place, and this is just another one where it's like, what's going on? Um, and even from the trailer, you have no fucking idea what what they're wanting to do with this. It's Beast Wars. Um, with the, they, they, it's like a new story within the idea of Beast Wars, or they brought a lot of Beast, some Beast Wars characters and, and such, um, but, you know, did some new things around, we, um, in the trailer we see, um, Mirage, um, pretty cool, um, with, like, he, he's a deceptive, um, Autobot, uh, very cool, he's played by, I think, uh, what's his name, uh, um, that actor, I forgot his name, but he's, um, He's, a, he's uh, from Saturday Night Live. Uh, Pete Davidson. There we go. Pete Davidson. Uh, I couldn't remember his name. Pete Davidson. Um, and he's just a really... Um, that might be fit him. I don't. I think he should have played a funny Autobot. A funnier Autobot. But hey, maybe, he, maybe he's trying to break into different roles. Or maybe he was a great casting for it. Who knows? Uh, but like I said, this is not like a franchise that I'm deeply in love with. Uh, the live action films. And by the way, where's that animated film they announced uh, a while back? Like... A couple years ago, they said they were doing a animated live action film as well, or not, not a live action film, but an animated theatrical film. There we go. Um, where's that at? I would love to know if you know anything about the animated theatrical film that they were supposed to do. Um, a new one. Uh, let me know in the comments. I don't remember seeing anything about it yet. 
Um, that's something I really want them to do. I want them to do, like, a big-budget animated uh, Transformers movie. Um, yeah, I know they heard they did something about it not too long ago. Um, but going from him, we also have um, Optimus Prime, obviously, coming back, which makes it very interesting to doing Beast Wars with him in the saddle, as well as Bumblebee's back. Um, so that's going to be very interesting to see. Um, we also get um, Optimus Primal, which is, if you don't if you don't know the story, he is the uh, leader of the, um, I forgot what they were called, but the, um, the basically the Beast Wars team uh, for the Autobots, and they came here before, long before Optimus and his guys got here, pretty much. And you know, this story is supposed to tell us like why they became the defenders of Earth, the Autobots, and what's going to happen with the um, with with these primal uh, characters, the Beast Wars characters. And that, that since they're doing Beast Wars, does that mean this this like just the beginning of Beast Wars, and we're going to get a part two, which would be cool, because uh, the actual story of Beast Wars is pretty fun. Um, but we get Optimus Primal, which is a big monkey, um, ape, a gorilla type of thing. Um, then we get Cheetor, which is the youngest member of that team, I believe, um, is a cheetah. And uh, you get a cool shot with him running alongside, I think it's Bumblebee, the new design of Bumblebee. Um, Air Razor, which is obviously another one. Uh, another character, RC is back. Um, he's another character. Um, well, so Air Razor is, is the Decept or the Autobot who was in the Michael Bay movies, but had a really bad design. And this, is, this redesign is actually a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, RC's back, obviously. Um, Wheeljack is the um, the uh, bus, the uh, hippie bus. Um, we have Rhinox as well, Rhinox, which is cool, Rhino. Um, but the cooler one is, in my opinion, is the uh, Peter Dinklage is playing the villain of this movie, Scourge. Um, a Terrican is what they're calling the new Beast Wars villains. The, the essentially the Decepticons, I think, um, of this world, um, this story, this time, which is not the Beast Wars story. Um, that's just something new that they added, in my opinion, the, the, the Terrican, right? I don't think that's in the lore of, the old lore of Transformers. This is something new, um, for the story of Beast Wars, in my opinion. Unless I've missed something in Beast Wars, which is totally possible. It's been a long-ass time since I've watched Beast Wars. I think the last time I watched it was maybe, like, eight years ago, um, which I was getting excited, excited just from, because maybe they might have, I was getting interested in seeing maybe they might be doing it, when they brought Grimlock in and they brought those guys in, maybe they were going to do a Beast Wars after they would do Grimlock. And I thought they were going to use Grimlock more, in my opinion, but they didn't um, in the movies. So, but like, this franchise is so weird and they don't know what to do with it. And this just shows you that they don't know what to do with it. This is like a prequel, sequel, reboot thing. What is it? I think they really need to establish that. They could, they could do something really interesting with it and do, like, a Marvel... Uh, uh, DC type of thing or university thing where you could keep going and I think what they should have done what they should do now is establish where like where are we going we need prequel sequel reboots what do we want to do and I think that's if they do decide that new timeline they can do you know they, they could do the the main Transformers movies but then they could do like Beast Wars as its own own film canology and they could do you know they could do uh, Decepticons um, you know, and then, but then they could do, like, these, like, the, the Bumblebee movie worked as a solo movie. I don't think there's very many just Autobots you could really do that for. I think there's, a, like, Transformers in general, I think you could do Starscream, you could do Megatron, you could do Optimus, you could do Bumblebee. Um, I think those are the four really good ones you could do as solos. But I think it's mostly pretty good to just keep them. <laughs> but the story should lean to Unicron and, um... If they're gonna, they need to have like an idea of what they want to do because now they're just kind of jumping around. Oh, this would be fun ideas like all the different comics and animated films they've done of Transformers, and it doesn't work. Um, and the movies haven't been that interesting to me. Um, I've watched, I think, all of them. Maybe I think I might have missed one. I think I might have missed the uh, last one, the last main Transformer movie I saw, Bumblebee. But um, like they're okay. Like if I see them, I watch them on DVD. I've only seen three of them or four, technically four of them. In theaters, I think I saw, um, in theaters, maybe, maybe five, I don't know, I think it was four, because I know I saw the first two with my mother, I saw the third one with a friend, and then I saw the, um, the, uh, what's his name, fucking, um, I forgot his name, but the actor, um, uh, in, uh, the older actor in uh, Uncharted, I forgot his name for some reason right now, off the top of my head, but, He's in everything, um, but uh, that one I saw with my mother as well. 
Um, but I think this is a franchise that if you're going to do something with it, I think you should try to get The Rock involved in the franchise. Because if you get The Rock involved in the franchise, it gets people interested. And it might... Interest right now is just like a slog. It makes money. That's what I will say. The franchise makes money. Uh, that's something that's the reason why we keep getting them. So there's that too. Um, but what can you do? Um, I just think, and I'm wondering where they want to go with these movies. If there's just like, oh, throw something, mash right on page, you know. Okay, put it out there. Um, Beast Wars. Oh, people like Beast Wars. Let's do a Beast Wars thing. Um, and it's kind of like, it seems like they just throw shit at a wall. Um, and then they, but this, the cast is really good in this. That's what I will say. They have Ron Perlman as Optimus Primal, which is really cool. Peter Dinklage as Scourge, the villain, um, which is really cool. Um, the human characters, who gives a fuck? I mean, it, if you get somebody good, cool. If you don't, I mean, we're not here for the human characters. It's just like the Godzilla films. The Godzilla films, we're not here for the humans. Um, we're here for the monsters fighting each other. And it's kind of the same thing with this. And this is kind of like, this could, this could be a good franchise. I mean, they're really good. Especially if we give it like a cool idea. Good writer. Uh, they haven't had like an amazing writer so far, except for the B Bumblebee movie, in my opinion, had the best writing, the best acting in it. Um, it was just such a warm, friendly movie. Watch that movie. It's really fun. Um, but I think that was 2018 that came out, maybe even before that. I don't even remember. Um, I'm waiting for that animated film, because they said they were going to do an anime film a number of years ago. Did it ever come out, like a theatrical one? Did it end up get cut down to direct to DVD? I have no idea. I have really fun memories of the old uh, Transformers film. Um, and I just think if they were to put like a high budget behind a uh, animated film again, and I think they did. I think I, I have some weird memory of them saying they were going to do another one. Uh, I, I could be wrong though. Uh, but if they were to do that, they just put a big budget behind one. I think it would be a good idea. I think it would be really good. I mean, look at what they're doing with the Mario Brothers movie, which I'm going to do a video on the new trailer they dropped as well. Um, which might come out either later today or tomorrow. Um, but, like, look what they're doing with that, and the ideas of what they're do doing with, with all these different shows, like Castlevania. And, uh, you know, the animation world blown booming right now. It's slow slog right now, because with COVID, it's been slow. But, I mean, look at all these different projects coming uh, being made. Uh, I think it's a really good idea. But what did you think of the Transformers trailer? Uh, did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you not, do you not understand what they're doing? That's me. Um, they're doing Beast Wars, essentially, and or the beginning of Beast Wars, who knows. Um, I would love to know your thoughts on Transformers. I don't really, not a big guy on the franchise, so I'd love to know, on, at least on the live-action franchise. I'd love the animated stuff uh, and the comic books, but I'd love to know what you, you think about it. I mean, um, especially if you know more about it than I do. I mean, I do like the Optus Primal um, and the, uh, that stuff, so it's going to be fun to see. I saw that as a little, little child. I saw that eight years ago when we rewatched it. Because uh, it was on Netflix, I think, or maybe it was on something else. But I watched it somewhere else. Um, watched the whole thing, and you know, in a few days, and it was just fun to see that and go through that story again. Um, so I'd love to see what what they're gonna do with the live action. I might not go see it in theaters directly, but I'll definitely see it at some point. If I do, I will make a video saying my thoughts on it. Maybe I don't know. Uh, see if I remember when I, when the time comes to it, but I don't know if I'll see it in theaters. There are a few other movies I'm gonna like Super Mario Bros. I'm gonna see in theater. Me and Mark might go see Cocaine Bear. I don't know, um, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, as always, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me a thumbs down, which I think they took it away, but give me a thumbs down if you don't like it. And as always, flip me off in the comments below. Um, I'm Scotty. Uh, the other guy on this channel is Mark, by the way. He does a lot of other stuff as well. We just put out a podcast. And I'll see you in another video, guys. And uh, you know what? Bloodhaven Gaming on all your social media platforms. You know?